today's video I'm going to be doing a drugstore foundation routine. I am super excited to show you guys this affordable makeup look. You can wear it on its own or you can add some fancy stuff to it. Um, but I'm really excited because all these uh, products I'm going to show you today are super affordable and easy to find. So if you are interested in how to complete this look, just keep watching. Alright, to start out I'm going to be using a primer and today I'm going to be using a primer by Nivea Men. And this might seem weird, um, but it is called the Sensitive Post Balm, Post Shave Balm. And it smells like a man, so it smells amazing. But it contains glycerin, so it really helps for your makeup, for your foundation to really stick and hold on and last throughout the day. So this is just a really cool product. Um, it's been circulating around YouTube and everybody's been talking about it. It's really affordable. It's like $6.99 at Walgreens. You can find it anywhere. Um, but what I'm going to do is just take some of it on my fingers. And I'm just going to kind of dot it around the face. So it is a little bit difficult to kind of get out of the bottle. But then I'm just going to smooth it with clean fingers all over my face. And also my chin. I'm kind of placing on the areas that it tends to wear off quickly throughout the day. So definitely on my nose. I don't know, my nose is always like an issue. Um, especially like right here on the bridge and on the tip. It just really seems to wear off quickly there, especially when I wear my glasses. It, for you girls that wear glasses, you know it always like, rubs off right here. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying my favorite, yes, my favorite, drugstore foundation, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 4-in-1, 3-in-1 can be that good, um, foundation, and this is in the shade Ivory, which is the lightest shade, I believe, 805. Hi, Luna. How are you? Hi. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Flat Top Kabuki Brush, or I don't know if it's called Kabuki, but it's a flat top brush, and this is the first time I'm using it. I purchased this for about $2.50 um, from Walgreens on sale, and so it's going to be a first impression. I'm kind of excited about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pump some of the foundation out onto my finger, just a good pump, and then I'm going to dot it around my face. This is just my favorite method because I feel like when you put it directly onto a brush or sponge, it just like soaks up everything. You know what I mean? Like, just a little too much. So now I'm going to be using this brush. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to tuck my hair so it won't get in the way. And it seems to be doing a really nice job. evening everything out yeah it's like super soft and I love how the well they're brown now but I love how the bristles are pink on the tip I think that's super cute I just can't believe how affordable this brush is and it's doing a really nice job of smoothing everything out <laughs> Wow, I'm so surprised of how fast this just blended everything out really smoothly and nicely. If you don't have a nice foundation brush, pick up with this one. It is awesome. Alright, now I'm going to go into my concealing slash highlighting. So I'm going to be using the Match Perfection Concealer Highlighter by Rimmel. And this is in the shade Fair. This is also the lightest shade they have. Um, and then it has this kind of like brush applicator, so you just squeeze it up and then I'm just going to kind of paint it on. And usually I use my brush to blend this out with, so I'm going to do that and if it doesn't do a good job I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers. And I'm also going to put some on my chin too just to highlight that as well. Okay, so now that my 
concealer is completed I'm just going to use my covergirl clean uh, pressed powder in classic ivory just to set all of my makeup I love this powder I keep going to it I've used some higher-end powders but this is just really nice it has just a little bit of color in it um, just to set you know all of my foundation and it just has a good amount of coverage and it does really well to help control control oils and it kind of like if your uh, foundation is looking a little bit cakey like especially a like right here it just kind of evens everything out which I really like alright so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and come back to show you the completed look alright and that is the look I just added some blush did my eyebrows add a little bronzer and some spray to complete everything if you enjoyed this super easy drugstore foundation routine Comment down below and let me know your favorite foundation from the drugstore. Maybe I can check out some new things. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and thumbs up. Thumbs up slash like. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming out soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye, guys. Come here. It's a baby. Oh, and Luna wanted to say hi because she missed you guys.